All right, so the two things I need to add to this assets folder are some CSS and JavaScript. Now you might be thinking, well, we already have CSS right here. And you're right. This is going to be like our specific styling of our CSS. We're going to do most of our CSS styling in here. However, um, what I want to do is the elements that I'm going to put in there, like the menu or the footer elements, we're going to want those to be responsive. So in order for that to happen, I could technically put them right inside the style CSS, or we could do it a different way. So why don't we instead utilize what we made way back when? If you remember on the second class, uh, the second and third class and fourth class, we, ma we made our own responsive framework that was, uh, you know, we, we, we made columns and rows and then, it, you know, you could put those classes into your thing. Uh, and we also did uh, JavaScript uh, responsive items like the responsive menu, right? Uh, as well as like modals and accordions and things like that. So what I want to do is show you if you want to implement that, things that we already made, we're actually going to use that inside of here. So you can see it comes around full circle. So if you actually look to the right, um, <clears throat> and I want you to use mine just because I did make a couple of tweaks, but it's basically the same code we did in class. I just changed a couple of class names just so that they wouldn't conflict with things. Uh, but if you look to the right, you'll see a little link. Uh, just click on that, and then you click on that, and then that will download uh, a, um, a zip file. So then you just hit OK to download it. And then once it is downloaded, <clears throat> uh, we just want to go ahead and extract it. Press extract. Close it out. Extract. Da, 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 da. I try not to put them in a zip file, but it won't let me upload them. So if you go in there, you'll see... Uh, should have. Okay, so there's the responsive.css. So I want to go ahead and put that into my CSS folder on my theme. I'm going to drop that guy in there. Okay. And then again, I'm still inside my theme. I'm going to go to the JavaScript folder that's inside the assets folder. And over here, I'm going to go to my JavaScript and I'm going to grab this guy and drop him in there. Okay, and now we've got those files ready to go. And so just so you get an idea, just so you actually, I'll just show you this one. Um, let's open this up with, um, open with Visual Studio Code. Um, just so you get an idea of exactly, yeah, I want to open up the file. That's why I said open. Um, it's just the code that we've already written. So right here, this is just that open menu. Uh, this is for the nav menu for the, uh, the collapsible thing. Um, I'm going to close that one out. And then if you look at the other one, Let's open that up and that should hopefully open up in here All right and this is just that other code that we made you remember making this so that's basically what's in there uh, I just changed a little bit like I did the nav instead of nav because I didn't I didn't want it to accidentally conflict with anything but other than that I really didn't change much about it uh, I kind of didn't on purpose because that way later on you can apply your own um, CSS I want to make this as vanilla as possible so that later on, on this style CSS, you can apply your own, um, your your own, uh, you know, uh, design elements. Okay. So anyway, we want to put those two into our assets folder, and now we can load those in. Okay, because they're not going to be loaded in by default. So inside of here, you want to go to your functions, uh, your functions uh, thing here, and just like that area where we we loaded up our style sheet. We're going to do the same thing. It's going to be slightly different. We're going to put it right inside of here. This function is meant to load the files in. So I'm just going to use this to load these files in there as well. So it's going to be again, WP and Q and Q underscore uh, style because we're doing a style and then we have to give it a name. So I'm just going to go ahead and do um, my underscore responsive style because that's going to be what it is. That's just a name I want to give it. It's just for later on if I need to. Uh, it's just a tag in order to change it in some way if I need to in the code somewhere else. We're never doing that, but that's why it's there. Um, and then this is the part that actually matters. This is where it's going to tell it where it is. So unlike this one, which will go to the di the direct directory, and it knows exactly where that should be as long as you place it in the right spot, this is actually going to be a little bit different. It's going to be git underscore template underscore directory. Will I spell that right? underscore U R I not E I parentheses like this. Now I am going to go ahead and move this over so you can see it better. Um, 
URI, but that's only going to get to the template directory. Then on top of that, I need to get to that assets folder. And in the assets folder, I need to get to that style, the CSS. So to do that, we're going to do space, period, space. And then we're going to put the path. So it'll be slash assets, because that was the folder, slash CSS, because that was the other folder that it's in. And then it's the actual thing, which was responsive style style dot CSS. OK, and then we'll put a semicolon in there. Boom. And let me just do this real quick. I'm going to go view and toggle word wrap. All right. So basically we say, OK, uh, I want you to load up a style. Um, we'll go ahead and name it this. Then we're going to say, get the template uh, directory. OK, uh, so get the directory basically where we're at. And then in within that, because that will basically get us. Uh, which one is it? This one. That'll get us this far. We're going to say, go to the assets folder, then the CSS folder, and then this. OK, so assets folder, CSS folder, which is kind of similar to what we've done before. It's just this part's going to be automated. Um, through code. Okay, so that gets us our, um, our uh, CSS. Now we need to do the JavaScript. So to do that, same thing again, WP, well, a little bit different, NQ, NQ underscore, but this is a script. So it's script, not style. Um, and then we'll just do my underscore responsive underscore style. So if you were ever to do this again, and I, you know, I probably should name this better. You should name whatever you want your theme name to be. So I would do like, you know, peanut butter theme style, whatever. Right. So it should be like, you should try and name things like that. And then all your abbreviations should be that. So that way it, yours won't conflict with other things and everything has the same naming convention. But I just did it this way, which in hindsight, I should have named something different. Okay. So it's going to be the same thing as the other one though, because I still need to get to the template directory underscore and then um uri u uri okay and then a space period space and then it's going to be um uh, forward slash assets forward slash js forward slash um responsive um what did i do responsive script dot js js like that and then a semicolon and now these files will be loaded in uh, with the rest of the stuff. Now, I know it's kind of hard to kind of follow what I'm doing here. So um, uh, when you see me writing this stuff, you know, obviously you can see it below me has the, uh, the lines there. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this. And if you want to test if it's working, what you can actually do is just inside of it, just as a placeholder, you can go to like, let's say the, um, uh, the CSS. Why is that not loading up? Hmm. Not seeing it in there. That's weird. Uh, the CSS folder, and then you should be able to see it there. So I'm going to check something real quick. And I closed it out, but you could probably and opened it back up. But I really could have just clicked on this button. I just didn't see it. Uh, if you hit the refresh button, the the thing should show up here afterwards. It just didn't refresh. I thought it would automatically, but apparently it doesn't. So hit the little refresh button there, um, and then that then you should see your stuff pop up there. But if you did want to test it, what you would do is just go in here. It's just the very bottom, so it's easy to remove at the end. Just add some like dummy CSS and see if it's working. And as long as it's working, um, whatever CSS you put in here. So I would just do like we did before. Do like um, body, right? And then just do like color red like that. Save it. Um, make sure you remove this one here, this style uh, here. Actually, I'll just remove it now. Okay. And then you would save that. And then um, if it shows up as red, then you know that it's working. Uh, I'm going to remove it because I don't really need it. Uh, we'll find out if it's working or not a little bit anyway, because when we do our stuff, uh, it won't appear correctly. So um, I'm just going to hit the X on this. Um, yeah, go ahead and save. I didn't do anything, but that's fine. Um, and we also don't need the style here. I don't think I did anything, but all right. Okay, let's close this. And... Um, Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah. So now we got these loaded in, and you can see that that is indeed working. So in the next one, we will uh, we'll keep moving forward.